Richard Simmons tomorrow morning at 9. All right, girls, time for the videotape recording to begin. So look at my scarlet and give us your backstory. <laughs> All right, please take this seriously because this is going on the internet. I was born in a successful family in the developing world. I lived free What are you ladies boring. doing in the office? Uh, uh, we're using the machine to get on internet. This dress doesn't look great in just America. It fits right in in my home planet zip. They're just trying to get attention. That's how internet works. The more attention you get, the more worth your life has. Those girls, they never had to milk a cow. <laughs> I like her moves. They're for sale, aren't they? I think so. You can buy them direct from Ivy, but I do it quickly before they go viral. Perhaps worst of all will be the emergence of a deadly and potentially devastating disease. Speaking of tragic... I guess you haven't heard. Last night we lost one of our own. What's the big issue? Around here, one of us dies every week. <laughs> to be fair, it's probably one a month. Two of the floors have just been waxed. What makes this tragic is that it was one of the nurses. Was he the one that was always smoking outside? <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's what did him in. He died of lung cancer in the drawing room. We're still cleaning the blood from the off-white carpet. Funeral is Saturday. As Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, we would rather die on our feet than live on our knees. FDR, the finest president of my lifetime. Your lifetime. <laughs> to all the rest they're one precious family he's not 80 he's 23 there's never been a facial tissue like new poofs plus i have just discovered something that is really great i love it it's great first our boxes are filled with lotion then we add the tissues so your Kleenexes are actually dipped in the cream to give your sore nose the pampering it needs. First, it's a great tissue! Then it doubles as hand lotion! The old brand is history! <laughs> Nobody touches my poof plus! <laughs> Woohoo! Every deceased life is a blessing. I brought deviled eggs! Where can I put them? Do you have a place designated for the gentleman? Preferably a room with the game on. You're not watching TV. We're here to pay our respects. All you people do is watch TV. Is there a special place I can put my deviled eggs? You brought deviled eggs also? You know that's my specialty. Well, I know that when it comes to ground pepper, you give with two hands. I'm loving that shiny dress on you. What is that? Uh, silk? It, it's rayon, and it's tough. I've never seen anyone look so silky at a funeral. Uh, that, that wasn't an invitation to come closer. Whole idea of a moo, moo is, you know, to keep cool. Oh, yeah, I'm as naked as nature intended. Excuse me, can I ask for some help? Oh, golly, I suppose I should help since I'm likely the eldest. The minister just left. He said he had advanced diarrhea. Oh. That's disturbing. You're Axel's father, I take it? I'm so sorry for your loss. Who can deliver a eulogy? I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I didn't even invite my ex-wife. To her son's funeral? You didn't? She takes 50% of my cattle ranch. That's what she gets. Watching American football, it's incredible. These young men trading their bodily health and their neurological futures just for our amusement. Now, now, now we pay them very well, yes. Yeah, so, so when they die young, we don't have to feel bad. Well, one of you needs to do the eulogy, okay? The minister had the runs. These deviled eggs are doing a number on me. I can't participate. Grassy? Why don't you do it? You seem to be the most invested. No. 
okay? Axel smoked himself to death. Anyone who lived recklessly like that clearly had something go awry in his childhood. Okay, back in my day, we didn't know any better when it came to smoking cigarettes. But to be 40 years old and smoking? Clearly this is an issue of neglectful parenting. These moo-moos are actually drafty on a cold day like this. I should have worn my underpanties. I'm freezing. I know the first thing I'm going to do when they let us into that chapel, I'm going to look for a floor vent. Same here. I'm going to squat right over a vent so I can warm up my inner thighs. That's your end. Please be respectful. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to remember one of our own. In the name of Jesus, let us remember Axel Silver Greenstein Baum. This was his last name? Of course. Uh, did any of us know that? Would you scoot over? You're all in the heat. Really good guy. Oh, little bag. Do you remember how he used to spy on us? To be honest, I don't remember him at all. Precious Meadows is a huge place. Let me start over. Dearly beloved, in the name of Father Old Testament God, Scooch, 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 you're blocking the fence. Some of us are cold way. You got layers naked. Uh, don't you sing, right? You are always going on and on about how you could have won America's Idols. <laughs> well, why don't you come up here and give a lovely tribute to Axel Silver Greenstein Ball. I just want to say goodbye with a picture. Oh God, what is that smell? Oh, it's a bit whiffy in here. <laughs> is that the body? I can't breathe. I think I'm gonna choke. <coughs> oh, it's hard to tell whether it's a dead body or deviled eggs or the fact that those old ladies were squatting naked over the heating vents. <laughs> Let's pay our respects then take leave. No. no, I have something more important in mind. You have something white on you, like uh, paper or something? A cocktail napkin. Well, oh, perfect. Roll it up so it looks like a cigarette. Good heavens, that's a serviette. It must be made of cloth to be a proper napkin. <laughs> Hurry, I think I'm getting lightheaded from the stank. <sighs> Axel, you were a nurse. You cared for all the residents of Precious Meadows. You, you changed my diaper daily. But you didn't? Take care of yourself. You see, you were a smoker. What are you doing? You're not allowed to do that. Don't touch him. His life can be used for something good. To keep others away from tobacco. Hi. You know, a lot of people tell you that smoking is red. They want you to put flavors in your e-vaporizers and think of it as candy. But you know what isn't sweet like candy? Death. You don't have to try smoking to be red. I'm not telling you how to run your lives, but I am telling you that you don't have to try something you don't want to do just to keep your friends happy. I mean, if that's how they really feel, then maybe they're not your friends. And maybe they're not as cool as you thought they were. Maybe they're whack. Did you ever consider that? Yeah.